Welcome back guys to episode 4. I didn't realize episode 4 just came out today. You know, I gotta like refresh my memory on the characters. We got Sean and Daniel, that's it. And I think I did one of the best endings for episode 3 because everybody survived. Some of the bad guys, I don't know what happened to them, but I think this is the recap. We'll see. Ooh, continue on the story, the journey. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. Yeah, we've been here. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. Papa wolf died. Okay. And they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered the little brother the little one was not an ordinary wolf. The mutant. But a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick. Yep. And they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors, and the old wolves oh. took care of them. But then they run away again. The hunters were hot on their trail, and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. On the road. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. Mm -hmm. And then they were happy to find others like them. Stuff happened. And everybody loved the little wolf who was growing up fast. Too fast. His power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother hooked up with a cool she dog. <laughs> yes. They had their own adventures. The she dog. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. Because they tried to the steal. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf. <laughs> And destroyed everything. Sean got injured. The big brother was badly wounded. And worse, he didn't know where the little cub was. All right, he ran off, I guess. So, do we gotta find Daniel now? Is that the goal of this episode? Rekindle? All right, we're waking up, or is this the future? Looks like we were just waking up. Looks pretty. Uh, I'm gonna use a controller. That's not the haircut. This is a dream sequence. Gosh dang it. Hey, Sean. Our memory. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. It's all good. Wish I listened. When you tried to stop me from going with Finn, I was too pissed. It's okay, dude. Are we Daniel? You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? I don't know where you are. 
I'm alone, Sean. You chose to be. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes, I, I swear. <gasps> Stop! Oh, okay. I feel like Daniel's gonna die in the end. That's what I feel like. Is everybody okay? Hospital in Northern California, two months. You're in a coma. Fuck. Yay. Yeah. Stupid reality shows. Wait, where is everybody? <gasps> Cassidy? I miss Cass so much. Wish I could hold her. We just passed here. I found out where you were in his house. I was wondering if other ways was a ghost. So I took the chance to write, and I hope you get this. I wish I could say what I might know what I was reading right. This fuck you. Do you ever care what happened? I don't remember. I woke up in the hospital with a blunt trauma. Jeez. Blast. What did I call this? Blast lung injury. It's like I still play guitar and sing. Not that I feel like you learn. I feel like what medicine is like. Not what I'm doing. My street compadre. Still so working on the Espanol, miss my lessons and my teacher. You probably know more what was going on than me, but Hannah, Penny, and I were released without charges. The police were stoked to bust a farm of drug traffickers. Where are us gutter punks? What I feel. So then we got no answer. So with, you, with, so with Finn and you gone. Oh, Finn is gone too? What the heck? Now we're just only trio train hopping up and down states, but I feel like we're getting a loop nowhere. And I'm Penny, you aren't the same. And we fight too much. I'm not even sure we'll be together much longer. Shit, Jesus. Uh. The trial soon over Seattle. Oh dear. Okay, I'm still. They're gonna send me back to Seattle. I'm just gonna have to help. Maybe we can swim naked again under a new moonlight. It's a big world. Maybe we can. Love and peace, Cassidy. Alright, so I got a girl, Cassidy. Who else to remember her by? Ugh, can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. Oh, so I've been awake for a while, right? But they have not released me from the hospital. Can't catch shit. <sighs> Zero depth perception. Zero depth Goodbye, perception. Goodbye, sports. Sport was out long ago. Yeah. Thanks for the card, agent. Can't there, right? wait to text you. Oh, shit. This must be my punishment. Oh, yeah, this feels like a hospital. Call somebody. Yep, straw. Draw the outside. Oh, I'm moving. Oh. So hard to focus. I know you have one eye. Gotta practice way more. Not giving up. Not giving up in the art. I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Uh, draw prison bars, draw staircase. Ooh. It does feel like a prison. It's 
Staircase. Staircase to where? Damn. This room feels like a prison. It does. But I'd rather stay here than go to Jolina Shore. So Yo. afternoon checkup. Sure. As a guard. <sighs> <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hello. Hey, hello. Joey. My nurse. Hey, man. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm. I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that smile. <sighs> Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? No. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before... Mm, you know. Yeah. Before they... Send me out. back. Check me out to Juvie. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Juvie? You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Okay, still in high school. Yes. Nice retina response. Okay. Now, try to follow the light as well as you can. Oh. Good. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. What a mini Quick game. Quick response. Following nice. the light. Sean, you got this. Of course, of course. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you got to turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. This is tough. Uh, depth perception is what this is? Your depth perception will always be affected. So you got to try harder. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Oh, come on. Hey, good job. Okay. Let's do it again. What a freaking minute. Damn, <laughs> you hit a double today. Oh. Yeah, that's enough. Too much stress on you and your eye. I know it's stressing me out. Your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. It's gonna hinder us. Here, read this. Patient cleared. Patient cleared. Send him right to jail. <laughs> Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. I always hated that game. Well, I know it sucks for you, but... <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now, you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. Uh, That's just great. I do get out of here. tell them the truth. But first... Let's clean this dress. Hey, sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. <sighs> we ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch them. Yes, true. Your job. Agent Do you Flores. mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Uh oh. Sure. The third degree. I'll swing by later, Sean. Stay cool. Yep. All right, now we're gonna play this. Agent Flores, we've been through this for so, a while. So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to... Go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So Until I get it right? Silence isn't going to help you now. Listen close, Sean. 
Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison, or you can talk to me. Innocent until proven I'm guilty. innocent until proven guilty, right? And I believe that. That's why I want you to tell me the whole truth. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? He was killed. Yeah, he came outside. Then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being... Who knows? I hear you, but... You're sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It How happens. could a kid go after an officer? No. Look at me. Okay, let's just jump ahead. You want tell the truth? I'll tell you the truth. In that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus three seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. Nobody's statement matches with each other. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. Yes, powers. Okay. Fuck. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His? Or yours? Huh? I mean, we all kind of did. We all did. Meryl totally ripped us off. Not a good guy. That's what happens when you mess with drug traffickers. <sighs> we had no choice. You think I had a fucking choice? That's the only job I could get. Why didn't you try to get help? Go to the police. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. The police would help me. After they shot my dad and accused us of murder. Great plan. Great plan. So Finn wanted to get revenge on Meryl, too. And what about Cassidy? Why was she into it? To get even? She was against it. She was against this stupid plan. She had nothing to do with it. Your friends are learning the hard way. They didn't deserve it. They didn't deserve it. We all make mistakes. Yeah. Well, some mistakes are worse than others. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. Oh, dear. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? Yeah, we you don't care about the leads. mom. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Sorry, Finn. Oh, she didn't want anything to do with this. Lucy Rose Jones. Oh, are those scars? Like, Finn has like some scars on his face. He got some scars. Wonder what Meryl told the cops about the robbery. Meryl survived. Sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. Prison would fuck him up. Yes. Hi. Do you want me to call? Everything okay? Well, she's still in there, same enough. Switch shoulder, what the heck? No. Oh. I told you I was gonna be away for a while. I'm sorry, okay? We gotta be good. Okay. When Ella will be gone the phone, please. Was that yeah. family? Love you. Love you. Oh, no, mama. Drawings. Wait, there's drawings. You can't. Should I be a friend of Mr. Dominion? Please. Please. Mañana por la noche. Mi vuelo sale a las nueve. No. Am I doing something? 
está todo el día con la Playboy. Pero no quiero que te vengan, por favor. Sí, bueno, déjale. Ay, sí, mañana nos vemos. Un beso. Okay, now she's back. That. that was forever. Okay. Agent Boris. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. For how long? It's been over two months. How are you going to find him? We have a lot of people looking for your brother. Trust me. It's you not enough. Find him too. Yeah, yeah. So you can lock him up too, right? Whatever. Anyway, thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. You won't. I'm getting out of here. Or not. Look out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So, how did your interview with Scully go? So, so, interrogation. You mean interrogation? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Joey. Want to tell that to the judges? I'm just saying, you don't deserve this. Now let's check this out. Give me the an eye patch. is coming along nice. Just got to keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I want to hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, Sean. Huh? Glass eye tech? So positive. I hear you. I'm trying to be positive. Can't get, so get to you. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. I patch. What does it hurt? Coat the area using the swab and cream. Do I have to remember this all later? Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. Remember, you gotta do this. <sighs> Four times a day. I won't forget. Four times I'm sorry a about day? Everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, yeah. you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm cool, glad cool. when I can make a chip. Uh -oh. oh, shit. <sighs> Emergency. I'm out. And no <laughs> smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. <sighs> Catch you later. Got your ladder, Joey. Ooh. Joey. Joey, Joey, Joey. You are her boss. Okay, right, so let's see that drawing. Yep. My art is trash now. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. A letter?
Glad Steven's leg is better. Don't know if we'll ever come back, Chris. Oh. Miss that little superhero. Any better? Captain Spirit. We need to see Beaver Creek from Swamp Bugs. Okay, so he's... He's okay. Captain Spirit is okay. What? Wow. Whoa. Haven't seen you in a long time. Smuggling? Is that my diary? Oh. Hello. This is old sketchbook. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. Nah. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? He must be looking for Up the mother. There. He might go back to Seattle. Why Seattle? But too far. Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Or the cops. Cops. It has to be the mother. Wait. What's that? Super Wolf. Huh? Wait, what? Does that mean? It means that Daniel. Daniel's with Jacob somewhere? He's safe? I could see him again. Sean. Huh. I borrowed a blanket and a few other things from your tent. We'll get them back to you when you come looking for your Super Wolf comic. It's waiting for you, Jake. Wait, Jacob? From the first episode, right? Oh, that's beautiful. So pretty old times, old times. Oh, oh I want to do anatomy like that. Circle, circle. So, uh, Haven Point, Nevada, Nevada. I gotta get to him. So that's where he is at, huh? I gotta find a way to escape. I don't know. Tonight. But Sean knows. Oh, tonight. The bus is tonight. Sacred Hope Hospital. It's all quiet. We're ready to go. Okay. Time to clear off now. This don't, whole hospital is so quiet. Don't tell me there's a so stealth. Don't make any noise. And find a way to get the hell out of here. Don't tell me there's a stealth a... mission. Stealth. A stealth gameplay? I don't want that. Look, look, look. Need a superhero to open that shit. Things are blocking it. Hope my last view of this world isn't this window. One stupid car. And I'm out of here. Hmm. It's dead tonight. It's very dead. Works for me. Oh. What the heck was that? Scaffolding. I could climb down the side of the building. Or die trying. Mm-hmm. Scaffolding. Can I have some privacy, please? A 
Let's see. Oof. We just gotta get past that locked door. And an angry guard. Can we change the eye? This one isn't screwed in. I could pull it off, but it's gonna be loud. <sighs> yeah, that metal bar isn't going anywhere. Let's the metal bar inspect the window. <sighs> Wish I could just walk out. Construction room. My backpack has gotta be somewhere around here. Sweet dreams, oh, my friend. Sleeping. Okay, we can sneak into the staff room. <sighs> okay, let's do it. Ugh. <clears throat> <clears throat> the hell are you doing in there? Nothing <sighs> off. Nice job, Sean. Now the guard is awake and pissed off. <sighs> Maybe I could uh, rig a decoy Sean in the bed. Rig a decoy shun in the bed. Nice. This will not work. Are you kidding me? <sighs> that looks so fake. That looks so <sighs> fake. It might work for a second. But like, if you don't look at it for too long, it's fine. Joey could probably distract the guard dog. Joey? Break safety. Okay, I don't want to do that yet, right? Windows are secured. Maybe I didn't call Joey. All right, balls deep. Never mind. That's not what I wanted to do. Ambushing the guard sounds cool. No way. I just called Joey. Okay, just called Joey. Joey! Where are you? Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. Yeah, thanks for the call. You got business in there? Patient called. Just gotta see what our boy needs. Good. I need a smoke break. Hey, that's your job. Go for it. Hey, there's my second favorite patient. <laughs> gotcha. You never stop working, Joey. I'm doing a double night shift. Diane is out with a flu, so lucky me. Nice. Yeah, I'm fried. But that sweet, sweet overtime. Sean, you look stressed. You feeling okay? Uh, I know where Daniel is. Yeah, I know where my brother is. What? How? I found a note in the sketchbook you brought me. He's in Nevada. With, um, a friend of ours. Fuck, Sean. That's awesome. Now that's good news. Nevada sucks, but 
At least the kid is safe. Listen, Joey. I need to get out of here. What? Come on, Sean. You know I can't let you do that. You know I'm on your side, man. I don't blame you for being scared. You're leaving tomorrow. But don't fuck around with this. You hear me? Oh, I'm scared. Joey, I'm so scared. I've never felt like this. Like, I'll be in jail for life, and I'll never see Daniel again. I can't do it, Life man. is like 20 years. I hear you, man. I swear, that kills me to see you in that situation, Sean, but... You really want me to help you break out of here. So what happens to me? I lose my job, go to jail. I have a girlfriend, a rent to pay, a future. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry, Joey. I was... I was being selfish. I just... I want to help my brother. It's all I can think about. Just look the other He's way, Joey. And look the there, other way. All alone. He needs. Just be like you go to the bathroom, brother. Okay, stop. Fuck. <sighs> oh, Joey, you sweet boy. I'll try to help you. Really? You serious? <laughs> no, I'm stupid. <laughs> so let's do this right. Find something to hit me with. I Joey, really no. I grab bar in the bathroom. I was gonna use it to escape. Somehow. You're not gonna hurt me that bad. I'll tell them you attacked me from behind in the dark, that I didn't see shit. They can't prove I let you get away. Oh. oh. Except Joey. Hey, Joey. Joey. Thank you so much. Hurry up before I change my mind. <laughs> Man, you even made a fake body. Yeah. Uh, okay. I found that grab bar in the bathroom. That should do. Oh, Joy, my boy. I guess. That's gonna hurt. Now listen carefully. Just tap me right here. Should leave a bruise, but that's it. Hear me, Doc? Yes, yes, sir. You really want me to hit you? Of course I don't. <laughs> but it's got to look real. So go ahead. Aim right where I showed you. Do it fast. Now. Okay. Ouch! Oh, son of a bitch, motherfucker. Oh, shit. You okay? Damn, Sean. Thought I said tap, not smash. Fuck. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I asked for it, man. Now you better get out of here. Stat. I owe you, Joey. Only when you find your brother. And you will. So move your ass. Got it, Joey. Okay, staff, yep. That's where my stuff is. Can we get some medical supplies for the eye, please? I feel like that's gonna infect. Damn. Looks like a boss. Thank you. Got some medication. Construction site? Okay. Safe, my man. What? Wait, that's, that's... been. No way. What? what? What is he doing here? No way. Sean, what the hell are you doing here? I'm no. trying to bail. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I wish I knew you were here. Could have hooked up. Shit. Shit. So, where's Daniel? 
just learned that he's in Nevada. What the fuck? Why Nevada? I'm on my way to find out, man. Yes, you will, my friend. Damn, I wish I could help you. But I won't get too far. What's wrong? But hey, I brought this on myself. How are you? So... Stupid question, but... How are you doing? Well... <laughs> you know... <laughs> kinda sucks. No coconut drinks here. So... How bad is it? Your eye. Let's say... I still got one left. John... I know this doesn't mean shit to you now, but I am sorry. <sighs> About everything. I don't blame you. I don't blame you, Finn. You tried something. Even if it ended up being a mistake. I'll just... have to make things right for good now. You're the man, Sean. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss you. Much love and respect. Always. Why am I, I scared? I gotta to go? go now. You gotta go, brother. Take care of him. You're gonna find him, Sean. I trust you. So you should trust yourself, too. Finn survived. We fixed our relationship. Water under the bridge. It's fine. It was a mistake. Everybody makes mistakes. There's people. Time to hotwire a car. There's no way that one guy would left his car open. No way. Ooh. 